Hi again then guys, and welcome to episode 9 of Visions of Tomorrow, the review series for Gran Turismo's selection of Vision GT concept cars, which oftentimes allow manufacturers to be creative, to achieve things with cars, especially with concept cars in particular, that they couldn't really necessarily achieve in real life. The perfect examples of that being the Tomahawk and the Chaparral laser car. Other manufacturers take a slightly more conservative route with making vehicles which are essentially just self-advertising what their next generation of cars style style will look like. This is kind of in between that because yeah it's a little bit conservative in its methods it's not particularly outlandish of a car in terms of performance but at the same time it's more than just an advert for the next level of style because this is the infinity vision gt car and the likelihood that their next generation of cars will look anything like this isn't exactly a high percentage of a chance but what's it like to drive because like most of the Vision GTs, it has a price tag of a million credits. And at the end of the day, that's race car money. You can buy amazing cars for that money or less. So, is it worth your time? Well, this is one of my personal favourite Vision GT cars. And it's pretty much purely for the look. I mentioned in my top 10 best looking cars on Gran Turismo list that this is, in my personal opinion, the best looking car in the game. Now, I know for a fact there are people who would disagree with that. In fact, I may be the only person on Gran Turismo who thinks that. But that's what personal opinions are all about. Everything about this car for me is just visually perfect. I love the style, I love the wraparound window that looks as though it's a dome encased under the roof. I love the massive front grille, that imposing style that the car has, like vehicles like the Vanquish and the SLR, which really has presence. It's the kind of car that you could imagine pulling up into an event and it would own the spotlight. It has a fantastic looking back end with a central mounted exhaust, which I'm a huge fan of. A very interesting looking forward curving wing and just a perfect overall style, in my opinion. But that is just my opinion, and these cars are more than just looks. The look is of course the first thing that we judge, but what's the performance like? Because on Gran Turismo that is at least as important as the look, if not more so. Well, this particular model is okay in terms of spec. I love the car, but I'm not going to lie about it. It's not that amazing a performance car. It's powered by a 4.5 litre engine, that's paired with an electric motor for additional power and we're told on the game that it has 535 horsepower. Now that's the amount of power that the engine has but we're not told whether or not that's including the electric motor. That seems highly unlikely that that is including the motor. So that motor's probably giving you in the region of at least another 100 horsepower possibly even more. So you're looking at probably around 650 horsepower, maybe even more in reality for this model with the motor engaged. So that's pretty decent, that's supercar territory, it certainly has supercar looks, and there are supercars on the game that cost a million credits or more. So, so far, it's not a bad deal. As far as its weight, it is unfortunately a very heavy car, and this is one of the Vision GTs that you can basically do nothing to, unfortunately. Now, as far as I can remember, there's only been one Vision GT so far that you can actually modify the weight of, and that was the original, the Mercedes. If I remember correctly, you can't do that with any of the others. The weight that it is, is the weight that you're stuck with, and in the case of this model, that is unfortunately pretty hefty. 1680 kilos. So, a similar kind of weight to something like an SLR McLaren. Now, the SLR McLaren performs perfectly well with a similar amount of power and weight, so how does this car perform? Well, this is one of the issues that I think Gran Turismo has, and it's the inherent issue of any racing game that involves tuning. And that is, because you can tune vehicles, 
Any vehicle that cannot be tuned is automatically viewed negatively because it lacks the tuning and performance range. You can't get away from that fact as long as there are cars that you're not allowed to tune. The fact that you cannot tune this car automatically makes it inferior in people's minds. Because you take an SLR for instance, which has similar specs, but then you can improve those specs. If this car could have that done to it, people's opinions of it and use of it would be increased. Just like if you couldn't tune the SLR, far fewer people would actually use it. So it's almost unfair to compare the Vision GTs to existing models, but I'm not just making that excuse because I like this car. That goes for any Vision GT, and I'm not saying that that's not disappointing. It certainly is. I hate it when we get a new Vision GT that we cannot tune, especially the gears, considering that this channel got started with top speed tuning. It's always been close to my heart and something that I've always enjoyed doing. So its performance, I would say, is unfortunately not worth a million credits. For me personally, the car is worth a million credits purely because I love the way it looks, the way it sounds and the way it drives. But for people in general, that doesn't really mean much. It's about personal opinion, of course, and the fact that it does cost the same as some pretty decent level racing cars will certainly put some people off. So, is it worth it to everyone? Certainly not. If you're purely looking to spend a million credits on a car which will do everything you need from a racing model, I would specifically not recommend it, because it's just not capable of that. If, however, you want a car that just looks great and is a great collector's piece, then it does deliver on that. But that's it overall for this episode. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.